What's going on hikers? In today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 different ways, nay, 11 ways to wear your face shield, neck gaiter, buff, tubular bandana, whatever you wanna call them. There's a bunch of different names. They look like this, just so we're clear what we're talking about. And uh, later on in the video, I'll show you exactly where I got this one and where you can get one like it or get one custom made with whatever you want printed on it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. We even take you on the trail at times. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's start with way number one to wear this face shield. Now ignore my crazy hair, but the first way I have for you to wear it is just simply called the neck scarf. Now this is really good at keeping you warm, which is the last thing I need right now because I'm sweating, uh, but it can also, I guess, catch the sweat. Sometimes I'll put it here, I'll dip it in some water along a creek or something while I'm backpacking or hiking, and then I'll put it around my neck and it actually helps cool me down. Well, it's probably kind of hard for you to see because of this luscious beard, but let me show you way number two to wear this face shield. Now, what you can also do is, you've probably all seen this, pull it up, over your ears, over your nose, and below the eyes. It's gonna help keep your face warm. And then if I'm cold in the morning, a lot of times I do this in the morning, I'll put my hat on like this, and then I'll just put it on the hat and it catches it and it keeps it. Wow, look like a bandit. Okay, way number three. I have it around my neck here. And if I'm not wearing a hat, you can turn this thing into a hood. All you gotta do is take the back of the buff or the face shield or bandana or whatever you want to call it and you simply pull it up over your head voila just like that now if you're out in the winter time okay you can use way number four turn this thing into your own personal balaclava i just gotta manage this beard okay i have it on as a hood right you can take the bottom and fold it up over your mouth and just like that, we have a balaclava. Is it? Is that how you say it? Balaclava? I don't know. Okay, way number five. We have our uh, neck scarf on still. If you put it on your head and just pull it back, some people like to call this the tube bandana look because it's like a bandana, but you can see it's a tube on the back. I prefer to call it the David Gray because if you've ever watched David Gray's videos, you know this is how he wears his green buff in pretty much every video um, also my wife has you know the same type of buffs or face shields or whatever and she likes to put her hair through them and you can wear it like that if maybe you you're like me you've been on trail for three or four days your hair's getting all greasy it's a good way to uh, just keep it out away from you <laughs> number six right this is my absolute favorite way to wear it it's not complicated you got to turn your tube bandana inside out and, and stick your hand in the end. Then you put your hand on your head. And then you take the back, fold it back. Oh, you know why I like this one? Comment below and tell me what you think I look like wearing this like this. I say biker or pirate, but I'm excited to read. Be nice. I'm excited to read what you say in the comments. This is my pirate biker look. Now, I just showed you my favorite way generally that I wear my tube bandana, but this is my favorite way to sleep in my <laughs> tube bandana. You turn it inside out, it's just a beanie. It's like a double layer beanie. You stick your hands in each side and then you twist. You only gotta twist it like a whole turn or, you know, turn in a half. And then you literally just take it lay it over itself and you have a double layer beanie now the reason why this is my favorite way to sleep with my tube bandana on is because whenever the sun comes up and you don't want to wake up yet look at that you just pull it over your eyes and it's like a blindfold giving all kinds of secret hacks here now some people call that the swimmer look because well you wear those rubber hats while you're swimming I guess and you're more aerodynamic or water dynamic i have no idea really how that works i'm not a physicist but uh you look like a swimmer now the next way way number eight i want you to take your tube bandana and just hold it like this and this is going to be really good for if it's a sunny day and you don't want your neck burnt you take it i take my hat off 
you just kind of connect it and it's going to shield the back of your head and neck from the sun then you take your hat yeah you need a hat for this you literally just put your hat on you may have to kind of tuck it up into the hat a little bit but in a lot of my videos where i'm on trail if it's summertime or there's a lot of sun you'll see me doing this in fact i wore it a lot like this in colorado because we are up above tree line and i was very exposed okay let's talk about if we want to be an athlete this is probably the easiest one of all normally you got your headband on you're dunking on people don't need one you can just literally scrunch up your two bandana put it on your head and there's your headband easy peasy and makes me feel like i can jump farther i don't know if it actually works remember we do have a bonus coming up it's gonna blow your mind because you won't even have to wear your two bandana on your head but this one is for all my ladies out there if you really need a hair tie you can loop over just like you do a normal hair tie and kind of like a scrunchie i don't have the hair to actually show you of course but that was number 10, the simple hair tie. Now, before we wrap up today's video and I show you the last way to wear your two bandana, I do wanna give a huge thank you to 4N Bandana, which uh, I'm gonna provide a link in the description. They sent me these and sponsored today's video. And basically, you can order as many different types of two bandanas, buff, facial, whatever you wanna call them on their website that you're seeing right now. And they have all kinds of different materials like silk, premium, just regular if that's what you want, whatever price range you're going for. And you can buy in mass quantities or you can just buy a few for you and your family. Now they do also have other products like the dog bandanas as well as children's sizes for these face shields. And when you're on the website, if you do wanna order one, make sure you check out the custom prints as well because you can order the same ones that I have here or you could actually upload the file from your computer or your phone and then get literally whatever you want printed on your face shield. So if you own a business and you want that printed on there, if you want pictures of your kids, if you want your pet, whatever, beautiful scenery, pictures you've taken, you name it, you could have it. So thank you again for nbandana.com for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, I shall show you the last and another great way to beat the heat with your tube bandana you take it hold it up stick your hand through it double it over stick your hand back through it and then you have whew, a sweat rag that i'm gonna need after working so hard on this video folks if you've enjoyed make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and check out the description and order your own tubular bandana we'll see you in the next one